Radiant Black issue number three by Image Comics. So I've already done a review of the first two. Now it's time for a review of the third one. And what can I say about this issue? Uh, it's an issue about nothing. <laughs> All right, that's probably being a little bit hyperbolic. But it, it's this just drags on. Nothing really happens. This whole issue is literally our main character struggling with writer's block. And I'm not, I'm not kidding. So we start off, Nathan, he wakes up early in the morning. His dad's like, oh, you're up early. And Nathan's like, yeah, um, you know, today's a writing day. And I like to start off, you know, early because it feels like I'm doing something. It's like, okay, that's understandable. And then we literally get two pages of a novel. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, there's no panels or anything. It's literally two pages of, like, straight out of a book, of a story that has nothing whatsoever to do with our superhero. It's just, it, it almost feels like the writer for this comic had, like, maybe something that he was working on, like a novel, and then he just kind of, it never went anywhere. And now he's like, well, I got to fill up some pages for my comic. I'm just going to dedicate two pages of something that I wrote a long time ago. That's kind of what it feels like. So we get literally two pages of a novel, and then we follow that up with six pages of our main character struggling with writer's block. Now here's the thing, I'm a writer myself. Like I'm actually a professional writer. YouTube is just kind of what I do, you know, as a hobby when I have free time. My actual profession is writing. I'm a screenwriter. I write movies and stuff like that. Like those, that's my professional job. So I'm all familiar with writer's block. I will say that the, the writer for this comic does a great job of capturing what it feels like to have writer's block. However, I do not need to see six pages of that in a comic book. Seriously, six pages. I counted. There's literally six pages of our main character dealing with writer's block. And then we follow that up with three pages of our main character, Nathan, talking to his friend Marshall about coming up with the name for their new superhero thing that they're doing. Three pages. Three pages of our main character trying to come up with the name. And then they finally fall on, you know, with Radiant Black. I mean, I'm pretty sure we all figured out that that's going to be the name since that's the name of the series. So, okay. So we got six pages of our main character dealing with writer's block. We got three pages of our main character trying to come up with the names. So we're 10 pages in, and I know you're thinking, well, six plus three equals nine. We still have that first page where he's talking with his dad about writing. So 10 pages in, nothing has really happened. And guess what we follow that up with? We follow that up with another three pages of our main character dealing with writer's block. And no, I am not kidding. We literally get another three pages of our main character dealing with writer's block. So we're 13 pages into this comic book and nothing has happened. The only thing we've got so far is our character struggling with writer's block. They finally came up with the name for the superhero. 13 pages in the in three issues. So it, it takes three issues to come up with the name for our main character, a superhero name. It takes 13 pages in this issue before we get actual action going on. So he's sleeping or not sleeping. He, he's working on his laptop. There's an explosion and then Another version of Radiant Black shows up and grabs him and flies him up into the air. And Nathan's like, you know, like, who are you? And then it reveals to be a, a Nathan from the future. And then Nathan wakes up and we realize that it's all a dream. So when something finally happens, it turns out that it's just a dream and it's only a couple pages. So, okay, what do we do next? Well, we find that there's a text about some guy saying, you know, I have a flat tire on Highway 355. I wish Radiant Black, you know, will show up to help me. And so Radiant Black shows up to change his tire, but he can't. So then he ends up just picking up the car and delivering it. And that's all that happens. Well, and then we got Nathan Black. We got Nathan figuring out, you know, oh, he kind of overcomes his writer's block a little bit. So this whole issue, this entire issue is literally Nathan dealing with writer's block coming up with the name for a superhero, changing a guy's tire. What the hell? <laughs> what kind of comic is this? And it, it's a shame because like, there's there's something good here. Like there, there's a lot of promise in this series, but it's just buried under all this mundane crap. 
Seriously. Six pages of writer's block, followed by three pages of coming up with the name, followed by another three pages of writer's block. Hey, 13 pages in, finally something happens. Never mind, it's just a dream. Followed by two pages of him sleeping. Followed by, hey, okay, let's go change this guy's tire. The end. Really? That's your issue? If I was the editor, I'd be like, what the hell's wrong with you, dude? What is this? Why would anyone want to read this? Why does anyone want to read where the most of the issue is your main character sitting on his bed with the laptop trying to write something? Are you having writer's block? Because that's what it feels like. Because um, here's a little thing. I So I've done this little trick before when I was going to university. Uh, in one of my writings class, we had to basically write a little short story. And we only had like not even a day to, to do this. And that would be fine if I didn't have a bunch of other classes with other projects that I had to get done. So I got everything done. I only had this one short story, but I had basically this was like the night before. And I'm like, oh, man, I got a class early in the morning tomorrow and I got to come up with an entire short story. So then what I did was I wrote a short story about not being able to write a short story and all these things like getting in my way, preventing me from writing. And it ended up working. Like uh, a teacher ended up giving me an A on that. So that's what this feels like. This literally feels like the writer for this comic doesn't know what he wants to write. Like he has no idea where this story's going. So he's just writing his main character struggling to come up with the story himself. And that's the issue. And that's terrible. And I hate crapping on this series because there's so much promise in it. I can see like a hidden gem, but unfortunately it's just buried under a bunch of crap. And I, I don't know, like just for the love of God, man, have something happen. Do something. This is a comic book. Why are we wasting the entire issue on our main character sitting on the bed struggling with writer's block? Why did you literally waste two pages of uh, of this issue on a novel that our main character later ends up deleting? Here's the thing. I, I, I've, I've taken one or two semesters of writing for comic books. I never really thought about getting into writing for comics. I've always wanted to write a manga at some point in my life. But I wanted to basically, like when I was at the university, I was like, I'm going to take every writing class that I can. doesn't matter what it is. So I, I obviously my focus is screenwriting, but I took narrative writing. I took writing for comic books. I took writing for plays, writing poetry, any writing that I can get, I did. And when it came to writing comics, the thing that the teacher kind of drilled into my head was make every panel count. Every page has to has to be filled with panels that mean something that that progresses a story. And I'm not getting that from this issue whatsoever. We literally wasted 13 pages of nothing happening before we get a little action scene. And that action scene lasted only a couple of pages and then it ended up being nothing but a nightmare. And then we get more, another three pages of our main character dealing with writer's block. Then we get another two pages of our character sleeping. We get another, you know, before he finally goes and he changes the tire. That, that, that was your action for the day. It was our main character changing a tire and picking up a car. That, that's it. Like literally the action that we had in this entire issue, you had on the cover of Superman number one. <laughs> or uh, not Superman number one, but action comics, the first appearance of Superman. You know what this is? I was struggling to come up with something to describe what this series is like. And then it hit me. This was like a couple days after I had already uploaded issue number two. Uh, it hit me. This is somebody writing a TV series and then adapting it into a comic book. Not just a TV series, but a low budget TV series. And I say low budget because there's hardly any action scenes. Any action scenes that, that do happen are very quick and like they can be easily like, not, not very high budgety. That's what it feels like. Like, okay, so for example, we have half the issue of our main character dealing with writer's block. That could translate to maybe a couple of minutes of a TV episode. And here's the thing, like, uh, obviously, if this was a TV series, it wouldn't be like issue number one is episode one. I would say maybe like the first two, no, actually, the first three issues could be episode one. I would probably say, though, the first two issues uh, where we have our main character develop his, his powers. He kind of tests it a little bit. 
and then he has the um, the interaction with Radiant Red, the cops, and then he decides, you know what, maybe I could be a superhero. And then issue two is kind of him thinking, like, you know what, maybe I'm not ready for it to be a superhero. Maybe, maybe, maybe this isn't my thing. And then that's when he comes across the tweets about, you know, a father asking for help changing his tires. And then he kind of helps the family and he gets a good feeling about that. And I'll, I'll put that like near the like first 15 minutes or whatever of the second episode. So he's like, okay, you know, I'm feeling kind of good about this. Maybe I could be a superhero. So maybe he tries to do something a little bit more superhero. And then he has a, he has a setback. Like he fails in some way. And that's when he kind of realizes, you know what? I'm kind of jumping ahead of this. I just got the powers. I'm, I'm trying to do things without really understanding where my powers came from and what powers I really have. So then we maybe spend a little bit of episode of that. And then... You know, he, he, he trains his powers or he trains one aspect of his powers that later helps him at the end of the episode. And that'll be the, the end of the second episode. Like that, that that's kind of like what I would do that if I was adapting this this series. And that's kind of what it feels like. It feels like it feels like uh, the writer wanted this to be a TV series, but nobody wanted to take it or pick it up for whatever reason. And so he decided to adapt it into a comic book, but he didn't make any changes. To make it fit into a comic he didn't say you know what because here's the thing you can't just straight up adapt a tv into a comic book comic books are visual mediums you can do whatever the hell you want with them you you can have giant uh spaceship battles you can have planets being destroyed you can have our characters doing all kinds of crazy things and you don't have to ever worry about a budget because it's art i mean obviously it kind of puts more strain on the artist but again you can have it's kind of like a novel you can have whatever you want happen you don't really have to worry about a budget but it feels like it feels like the writer is just straight up adapting his failed tv pilot into a comic book form and not changing anything like just you know what having three pages of our character coming up with a name for his superhero thing can fit into a, a tv episode it can be like a, a minute or two, like a short scene of our character talking, almost kind of like something almost like straight out of quirks with our characters, like discussing names and kind of having banter like, oh, no, that sounds too Marvel-ish. Oh, that doesn't sound as cool as, you know, Batman. Like, OK, what if you take this and then you, you know, add this to it? Oh, but what if we switch the names? Like, you know, just like kind of banter like that. That could be like a fun little scene in a TV episode. But a short scene and not three pages of a comic book. Like that one scene could be a page or even, I'll say like half a page, but let's just go at the page. You don't need three pages of our main characters trying to come up with a name. You don't need six. Actually, it's nine if you count all the pages together. You don't need nine pages of our main character struggling with the writer's block. You don't need to see two pages of our main, three Three, no, two pages, yeah. Two pages of our main character sleeping. So we we have, yeah, we have 13 pages before something happens. The thing that happens is very quick and it's a nightmare. And then we come back to more mundane stuff. And then we literally have one page, one splash page of our main character using his powers to lift up a car. Meanwhile, like everything else, he's doing, like he, he, we spend pages of him changing a tire before we get one splash page of him lifting a car. So yeah. That's Radiant Black issue number three. It's a series about nothing. It's Mudane comic book superhero crap. And I feel really bad just like ripping on this because I don't I don't want to do that because there's promise here, but it's just it's not living up to its potential. I blame the writer obviously, but I also blame the editor. If I was the editor and this came onto my um, to my desk, I'd be like, "What are you doing, dude? Why why am I?" halfway into this script and nothing has happened why are we three issues into a, a comic book series and nothing has really happened other than one fight scene between radiant black and i'm just gonna call him radiant red that we had in issue number two very short scene by the way w what are you doing are you trying to audition for netflix because that's what this uh, series reads like so far it reads like you're trying to develop a very low budget TV series that maybe some kind of streaming service will pick up. It feels like you're trying to get your foot into Hollywood rather than 
trying to write the best damn comic book that you can write. So yeah, if I was ranking this uh, from 1 to 10, I'd give it a 3. Um, that's kind of being generous. I got no complaints about the art. I have complaints about the writing. I have complaints about the pacing. I have complaints about the fact that we're three issues in and nothing has really happened. We dedicated an entire issue to a main character having writer's block. That's, that's not fun to read. You know what? Three out of ten sounds kind of being a little bit too nice. Maybe a two. Seriously. I mean, you could say, oh, well, we get some character development. A little bit, but not really. Like, not enough to dedicate an entire issue towards. Like, most of this is just our character struggling with the... Uh, with writer's block and struggling trying to come up with a name for for a superhero thing and you could say well you know this this issue kind of helps some like realize that maybe there is potential in being a superhero there's a lot better way to do that than this like this is like straight up like i want to write the lowest budget comic that i can write in the hopes that a streaming service will want to pick it up and develop into a tv series that's what this feels like so yeah this is bad i would not recommend this issue God, I, I'm hoping that this picks up because it started off not great, but it started off with promise. And I can still see like some of the pen potential he here. Like our main character, Nathan, is, especially since I'm a writer myself, like he's relatable. I just, I want to see him do more than just sitting around on his bed writing for half an issue. Like you don't need to develop that much time to try to empathize us with him. So yeah, this was bad. Anyways, tell, tell me what you guys think. Anyone reading this series, do you guys like the flow of this? Or do you guys kind of agree with me where it's just a lot of nothing is happening? Um, but yeah, if you guys have any recommendations, let me know. And uh, I hope you guys have a good one. Later. So what did you guys think of that video? I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe. Hit that bell for a notification. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And if you didn't enjoy the video, thank you for watching it this far. And I hope the next video is more to your liking. Feel free to check out the playlist that you guys see, and I hope to see you guys next time. Later.